since yesterday. And that is a testament to you, Tony Luke Jr. Oh, Welcome good. back. It's good to be back. Oh, you know, I did a few laps around the studio. I'm getting hungry again. <laughs> this is perfect timing. Okay, Tony Luke's, an institution from Philadelphia. This offer is insane that you are giving us at QVC2 today for our big deal. Yes, our first big deal. We've never done a count this high from you before. No. You are giving us 10 eight inch Philly cheesesteak sandwiches mm -hmm. per order, 10 of them, in either the beef option, which is 100% ribeye, or the chicken option, which is 100% white chicken breast. Chicken breast, chicken yep. Breast meat mm -hmm. right there. Or if you can't decide, like little old me, do the combo, which will be five of the steak and five of the chicken. Each one is individually wrapped, comes straight to your door, Easiest thing in the world that I almost didn't believe in until he showed me. Yeah. Um, let's dive into this because this price is insane. It's Comes like $99.95. This. No auto delivery and no reorder. This is brand new today. This is what it looks like when they come to your house, each individually wrapped. Yes, and you don't even take them out of the wrapper. I, I, it's they go right boggling. inside the oven. But every good sandwich starts out with quality ingredients. And you can see, we're packing these with meat. Mm -hmm. But not just any meat. We're talking about 100% ribeye. Gorgeous. So this is a ribeye you would see at a restaurant if you went to a steakhouse. Mm -hmm. Well, this is, the, this is the meat that is being used inside this sandwich. Notice the marbleization in here. And that's where all the flavor comes from. Stunning. And these are chicken breast we're using. So you go in with good quality, you get a much better sandwich. And we are dedicated to quality and we're dedicated to convenience, ease of cleanup, uh, spending time with your guest Which when the big so game important. comes, right? The big game comes, everybody's talking about their favorite team. Now Bye, you can put food in an oven. And, and, and have a conversation. And have, actually have a conversation. Get yourself out of the kitchen. So can you just answer this for me? Because I'm sure. not a native to here. I've only been here since April. I didn't know, or like, is chicken cheesesteaks, is that common out here in Philly? It is, actually. In the beginning, when it, when it first came out, it was kind of like tabooish, like, uh, oh, uh, chicken cheese. But I got to tell you, I love oh, it's delicious. chicken cheesesteaks. I love them. And these chi this chicken cheesesteak, is so moist. The worst thing you can do is get a chicken and it's dry. Uh, well, here's the thing too. So it is the new year. We've been talking a lot about how, you know a fresh start, and maybe some of us are on weight loss journeys or trying mm -hmm. just to make different choices. Maybe we're staying away from red meat for a little bit. What a great option to have of having that chicken option. Or if maybe just you are trying that out in your family, your family still is eating red meat, then get that combo. Absolutely. So you a little something for everyone. Well, you have both. Would you like to try a chicken? No. Tony. We got a little Do mushroom you know one here yet? for you. I don't think you know me yet. I will always eat what you're giving me. Oh, and notice the roll. The roll is one of the most important parts of the sandwich. It is crisp on the outside, but nice and soft in the middle. Ah, right. oh, we got to go, go in. You ready to dig in? Cheers. Oh, mmm, goodness. I took a big bite. Wow. That was not a TV bite at all like I'm supposed to. That's the mm -hmm. real bite. It's yeah. a real bite. Mmm. Mmm. That bread, I mean, the meat aside, the meat is gorgeous, seasoned perfectly. That cheese is really creamy, that American cheese. This bread, though, really, oh. like, puts it over the edge. Some crispiness to it on the outside, but it's nice and soft on the inside. Um, it's not one of those breads where you have to tear it with your teeth, which drives me absolutely insane. Um, it just it falls apart in your mouth so gloriously, but has that perfect texture. And that's the biggest complaint people get outside of, of Philadelphia or New York. They say, well, we really can't get the bread. Well, well here it is. This is the bread. Mm -hmm. This is what we use in the store. This is the meat we use in our stores. This is the chicken we use in our stores. It's bringing it right to you. Speaking of your store. Yeah, there we go. Now, all of this work, putting it on the grill, watching over it, making sure you turn it at the right time. You don't want to overcook it. You don't want the heat to be too high. Well, we took all of that work for you mm -hmm. and it's already done. Thank you for doing all the work. All you me. have to do is put it right inside the oven at 375 in for 20 to In the wrapper, in that's the, the thing. Wrapper. In the wrapper. I baffled. It it's so it genius. It does not come out of the wrapper. And you know, the other good thing too is food should be fun. 
Yep. Right? I mean, it should be fun. I agree. I know people love to go in the kitchen. They love to cook. I love to experiment with different flavors and, and you know, putting different foods together like fusion. What a great way to bring the family together. For me, growing up in an Italian family, everything we did was in the kitchen. Yeah. I mean, that's where the love was. The love was in the kitchen. And now to be able to bring your children in the kitchen, they don't have to worry about a, a hot pan burning them, splattering oil or utensils. It's already done. They get to pick whatever toppings they want. They become a part of the experience. Those are the things that build memories. Well, speaking of sharing it with the family, I think we have some of our In the Kitchen with oh, Mary come on in. who cannot resist. Hi, gentlemen. I'll get Hi, guys. Away a little bit. Would you here. like a beef or a chicken? What would you like? I'll take chicken. You'll Try take that chicken. chicken. That chicken you like is mushrooms so delicious. or no? Yeah. Well, here you go. Hold on. Let's get you a little plate. Here you go. I know. You know, we got to take care of you, my friend. There you go. Would you like a beef or a chicken? You want a beef? Okay, is peppers all right for you? Now, the beef is the most popular, but that chicken is the most limited. So if you're interested in the chicken, I really, it's so delicious. Which one do you got the chicken? Did either of you get any of you get the chicken? I got beef. You got beef? He got the chicken. He got the chicken. I love it. Yeah, it's delicious, right? It's still moist and tender. you get these at home, you're going to be so amazed at the bread. And the seasoning, but the bread alone, it's so crispy and delicious, you know? And it's I know the, what a challenge it is to do that. It's <laughs> the authentic taste. I mean, that is like having Philadelphia in your own kitchen, mm -hmm. um, which, you know, Philadelphia's, I had never been to yeah. Philadelphia until I moved here. <laughs> what do you think? Great. Great, Wonderful. delicious. Wonderful. Wouldn't you like to have that at the ready in your fridge yeah. so you could pop that in, oh, yeah, in the oven? Oh, these are amazing to have them pop them and surprise somebody if they stop over and say, hey, guess what I got for you? I got some Philadelphia love, Tony Luke's. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Right. And, you know, and they're there. That, that It's yeah. the convenience of them being right, right. there and whenever you good. want it. This, and the result, it's one thing to just say, I have it, but to have it crispy and delicious like chicken. Can we get you some chicken? I, I feel <laughs> like, oh, I I feel like I'm back in the store. I got a line. What can I get you? What do you need? What do you want? Okay, we'll give you some chicken. Anything on this chicken? You sure? You going for the plane? <laughs> You back in action. Oh, yeah, right. Fun. I gotta come. Can I come visit you? They, at got, the store? They, they have me working now. Here you go. Yeah. You're busier. I can jump in. You, you know? can oh. jump in. See, that's how simple it is. He can jump right in. It's in an oven. And let me, let me show you the best of this, which I think is just their faces alone for me is, is priceless. I mean, when you get into food, that's what it's for. But when we're talking convenience, we're going to take this sandwich. Once it comes out of the oven, you make sure it's warm to the touch. You unwrap it, and I'm unwrapping one right here in front of you. It has a second layer of parchment. We're opening this up. Look at this. I want to show you. Here's the sandwich. Look how ju look, look, at at the look how oh. moist and juicy. That steak is. That Look glorious. how much steak is in there. And that cheesiness is oh. just peppered throughout. So every bite, you're gonna have that creamy American cheese. It's it's it's, it's absolutely, and it's so moist. Yep. It's just and the, the smell. And here's the best part, at least for me, and I know for most people, cleaning up in a kitchen. It's just, it's, it's a it's a chore. This is your cleanup right here. Here's your wrapper. Here's your cleanup. Now, I'm so good at this now. The waste paper basket behind me, I didn't have to look at it. A backboard shot. Did you see that? A backboard shot. Right on the money. Right on the money. So right that, that's how money, easy Tony. it can be. And again, I have to go back to what you're starting with. Yes. I mean, because true. it's just, I mean, it's real ribeye. What would you pay for this in a restaurant? I mean, think oh, about what you pay in a restaurant. $42. Exactly, but no, here it is. It's right here. You're getting the ribeye. You're getting the chicken. It's, it's made for you. I order these sandwiches. I eat these sandwiches. I would never sell anything that I would not eat myself. I am so proud of it. And you say, well, how much really is it, Tony? Well, what are we really getting? This is what you're getting. Look at that. Now I'm a big guy and this is <laughs> difficult to lift up. Eight Look inches. Look at this. For each, uh, each sandwich is eight inches filled to the brim with all that meat and all that cheese. So what you're looking at here is if you opted for the combo pack, you'll get five of the steak, five of the chicken. You could also get all 10 
plain chicken or all 10, not plain, nothing about this is plain, <laughs> all chicken, or you can get all 10 in the beef option. So those are your options. The beef has been most popular, but the chicken is the most limited. And when I tell you that chicken is mind-blowingly delicious, it like, I, I wish you could taste it through the TV, but you can't, so I'll just eat for you. Now I'll tell you what you can't say. You can look at here and you're seeing 10 large sandwiches, mm -hmm. but what you're really looking at, you cut these in three, these are 30 servings. <laughs> 30 serve. Now this is wow. one or two servings for me, but for an average normal person, you can get 30 servings out of this. Yeah. I mean, so if you are hosting a party for that big game that is coming up in just a few weeks, go Niners. Um, I mean, what a great thing to have. And we were talking earlier about, and you sort of have it set up over here of doing like you would do like a Bloody Mary bar oh, uh, for brunch. Love that do idea. Do a Philly cheesesteak bar. Have all sorts of different um, condiments and sauces and peppers, mushrooms, all these things that you might think your guests would enjoy to build their own and build their own experience with Tony Loops. And how much fun is this? One of my favorite foods, truly, besides uh, cheesesteaks, is pizza. Yeah. I mean, who doesn't love pizza? Um, no Real, friend I'm, of mine. Uh, right, no friend of mine no doesn't friend love of pizza. Mine. So you take a sandwich that you've already put in the oven. It's already done. Okay, it's already heated. We'll take one. We'll take a cheesesteak we have right here. Okay. So you put it on a tray. You take your favorite red sauce. We call it gravy in South Philly. But you take your gravy. Gravy. And you're going to add the gravy right to your sandwich as if we're building a pizza. Let me tell you something. The kids will love to do this. And then what we do is we make it rain mozzarella. <laughs> make it we rain. make it rain mozzarella. Look at this gooey, delicious mozzarella cheese. And it's got to get all over everything. And then if you really, if you follow me here, mm -hmm. then we'll add a little bit of oregano if you want to go for that, you know, that real pizza kind of pizza store flavor. We'll put that on top and uh, it already smells yeah, it does. amazing and we've done nothing. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out our sandwich that we have in here already. There we go. Okay. We're gonna lay this right, now remember this is already cooked so all we're doing is making sure that cheese gets real gooey and that gravy gets nice and hot. So would you just and put that like under the broiler or something? You could put it right under the broiler okay. and, and, and now you have a pizza steak. Yeah. Just when you thought pizza couldn't get any better, or a cheesesteak couldn't get any better, we put the two yeah, together, Tony, and, and we have we have a pizza steak. We just steak. met, but you're already making my heart sing. <laughs> you're already speaking to me. It's my on a job. Deep level. It's my job. How long has your restaurant been open in South Philly? Uh, 28 years. Really? 28 years. 1992. Congratulations. Is when, oh, thank you so much. Is when winning. we first. Uh, yeah, we won. We we've been so blessed to win so many different awards. I mean, and I'm so excited. You know, we got a really wonderful base of people that come in all the time, and you know, what's great is seeing people every day. Yeah. You know, it, be, it, 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 it becomes family. You don't really have customers anymore. You have family because you ask questions. How's your, how's your children doing? How's, how's your mom? How's your dad? You get to know them. And hopefully we're going to get people from all over the country to kind of get to know Tony Luke's and what we stand for and, and how, how much I love this brand and how much I enjoy bringing that to people. The convenience, the, the cleanup the quality, you, you get all of this and 10, and ten. 10 of them ten. you get. Uh, you know, I worked in the restaurant business for a very long time in Los Angeles, and it's so rare to find a place like that that really does treat its oh, customers yeah. like family. Yeah. Um, so when you find that, you you attach yourself to it. Yeah. Um, because it's rare and it's beautiful, but that also comes through in your cooking and the attention to detail that you've put into these sandwiches. You told me it was a long process until you perfected it and made it just right. And that's what's going to be showing up on your doorstep. That's what's going to be living in your freezer until you're ready to eat it. And you'll just have so much heart that comes out from Tony in your sandwiches. Well, there was 28 years of of building the brand, perfecting the way we do the cheesesteak, and 18 months of nonstop with me to perfect the, the bread and the way the meat is and the temperature in the oven to try to get that experience that you get right here in Philadelphia delivered right right to your door. Yeah, I mean, I'm a newbie here in this town, but this tastes like 
extremely authentic. This well, you, tastes what I always wanted out of cheesecake. Exactly, taste like exactly. I always imagined before I had ever actually even made it to Philadelphia. All right, now we got to do, you know, we got to do the classic cheesesteak eating. Now, if you're okay. not sure what this is, people at home, when you buy this product, if you're not afraid of hot, you need to go 